I want to show you the before and after pictures. Look at this. Before and after. Look. That's remarkable, isn't it? I love talking about this because people are so nervous. Guys are nervous because a lot of guys here have male pattern baldness. The women are nervous because they're not going to call their, their man out. And then a lot of us are nervous because, oh my goodness, Ed had a cosmetic procedure? Is that biblical? Did you color your hair? Did you brush your hair? Have you ever had dental work? Braces? Those are cosmetic procedures. <laughs> 3,100 hairs from the back of my head taken out and transplanted to the front. Pretty amazing. Pretty incredible. While I was in that chair for eight hours with Dr. Bobak and his team, I just had the idea for this series, hair. So I just thought, since we're talking about hair, why not have a haircut? I mean, I need a haircut. I've not got one in a while while I actually speak. What do you think? Okay. How many people in here get their hair cut once a month? Some people do. Okay. How about once every two months? Once every three months? All right, okay. Johnny, someone like myself, how often should I get my hair cut? What would you guess? Probably four to six weeks. Okay. It depends on uh, how fast your hair grows and if mm -hmm. you like the length. Or if you want to grow it out, so four to six weeks. Some guys go every three weeks, which is a little much, but you know, some guys like it yeah. shorter. Well, Johnny, who would you say would be more particular about their hair, men or women? I would say my men clientele are probably more particular. <laughs> Did you hear all the ladies laugh? We already have people joining us from Georgia, New York, Illinois. Arizona, California, how you guys doing? Kentucky, Arkansas, Iowa, Wisconsin, Washington. We have a very large online audience, online church, and then of course we have other locations, Johnny. I see Dean, Miguel, Bella, Rachel, Mike. Thanks for locking on to fellowshipchurch.com. Really it's FC Live, but you know what I'm talking about, Fellowship Church. It's really relaxing, Johnny, to have your hair cut. I'm about to go to sleep right now. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to keep the beat up a little higher, right? Yeah. I mean, you know what's interesting? I tend to tell people who are doing my hair a lot of stuff about my life that I wouldn't tell anyone else. Johnny, I had hair transplants, as you know. I had three, let me see, 3,100 hair follicles from the back moved to the front. Painful, right? Well, let me, I, I decided I would, I would show some photos. I've, I've never shown these photos before. This, this, this first photo is right after Johnny. I had the procedure. See that? You see that? I say, ouch. I can't see what's behind me. What do I look like? <laughs> well, did you see the one with the nurses? Go back to that one. All right. So after I had the procedure, you know, that's after like eight hours in the chair. I'm just going to tell you the raw and the real about hair transplants. So Lisa and I flew out to LA, Johnny. I researched this for a long time and found Dr. Bobak. And th these are part of, uh, these, these two ladies, great, great nurses were part of his team. And they, they surround you and they are just either taking out the hairs or they're putting them in. So after I finished, I said, hey, let's get a picture. And they go, okay. But they said, Mr. Young, now you're going to have swelling. And I go, no, not me. Johnny, thank you. That's brilliant. 
I might have Johnny up here every week. He can like add to the message. And we talked about doing like, instead of like lines or carving FC, I was going to do a little stick figure. Okay. Like man fishing. Yes. Brilliant. You got to work on that though. Make That's okay. That next time. How's the hair looking guys? You like it? I love it. Johnny Rodriguez. You tell me. Let me see. Oh man, that looks so good. Wow. Johnny, thank you. Man, that looks My so pleasure. good. It's just so relaxing, isn't it? To get your hair cut. 